Wow. We don't, uh, oui. people don't come back here often. No. <laughs> They're not allowed. Welcome back to Kid in a Sweet Shop and to part two of my tour of the MTC with the lovely Zach Brown. Last week, we explored the full length of the famous boulevard. Between these two, aerodynamics pretty much got out of control. I mean, it, they um, start going I mean, they're just, <laughs> I don't even know how you get in the car. I don't know, <laughs> um, This time, we're going behind closed doors to discover more of McLaren's illustrious history. My favorite secret spot. No way. Ah. We got all sorts, it takes about three years to figure out where all the secret doors wow. are. Wow. Oh, stop so it. So in here. People don't come back here often. No. <laughs> They're not allowed. So what this is, we've got a lot of race cars over the years. Yes. And we even have at our old factory, which is made up of about 17 buildings down the road, even more cars. But these are, um, I'll point out some of the very special ones. So this yeah. is something we've raced recently. Yeah. One of Lando's cars. This is one of Lando's. This okay. is one of Lando's. Uh, this car Ooh. won the Long Beach Grand Prix with Nicky Lauda. Oh, wow. Which I like because I'm from yes. LA. So yes. um, I was at the 81 Long Beach Grand Prix was my first ever race. So I think he won in 82, I want to say in this car, 82, 83. I love um, how boxy it is. Isn't yeah, it? and what was interesting is I didn't particularly like what it looked like, mm. but they didn't have front wings. Oh yeah. Oh, pretty, that's just- Pretty cool. Oh my and goodness. Then, I mean, I can't quite, wow. So. <gasps> Another Ayrton Another. Senna car. Uh, this would have been the, what year would this car have been? This is an MP4 this is two. A so this is a, a long would have won. Yeah, so he would have been, um, this is 86. So yeah. who would have been his teammate then? I think 86, was that Stefan? Or was Stefan only 87? I can't, I just remember oh, that, the oh, That's gonna have to come dominated. to me. I'm usually pretty good at my my racing trivia. Uh, this was not a very successful car, unfortunately. It wasn't. Um, Stefan's such a great guy. He was kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time with the best teams when he joined Ferrari and, yeah. and, and McLaren. So this would have been 87 and he would have been a uh, pro's teammate, Alon won, we just won one race that year. Gosh. But I actually think it's a pretty cool yeah. looking car. Yeah, simple. Yeah. That's what I like. Mika, oh. that looks dangerous today, doesn't it? Wow. Not a very Success successful car, but the start of um, the Mercedes era, which we obviously had. Yeah. But this, this should be on the boulevard. We just have too many great cars. <laughs> this is what Ayrton won his last two races in. Japan and Australia. Uh, so to me, this is this is it right here. I remember both in Australia, Ron was asking Senna to come in in qualifying. I don't know if there was an issue or what, well, there must have been an issue. I don't know what the issue was. Ayrton said one more lap, did one more lap, put it on pull. Oh my God. So pretty. This is literally the steering wheel he would have been. Yeah, he, and he to. always had, I don't know why, a smaller steering wheel than most drivers. So you can see it's, it's yeah, really- Yeah, it's really, go-kart. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so he, he preferred that for whatever reason. He also did, I think he was the first driver to take, ask for his gloves to be stitched outside in instead of inside out. So he didn't have the Love stitch it. rubbing yeah, on loving. him. So I think he was the first to, uh, do, that. to do that. Which least, of course that's now a, is Now everyone normal. does it, yeah. At least that's what I was told. I don't want to let go of it. <laughs> Probably some are winding me up. So unbelievable. <gasps> then you get into one of Daniel's cars. I mean, just look at look at where technology yeah, look at is. Where, and look at the size difference. Yeah. And the width. I mean, you can see why Monaco's tougher and tougher to, I mean, they're, they're to pass just, around. Yeah. I mean, I mean impossible. All, I mean, it's like got another two feet uh -huh. in width. And some of these are 
uh, what we do is our race cars, we then turn them into show cars for right. our partners. Yeah. Um, so that actually looks to me like a Honda era car. Right. Based on the nose, I think. Yeah. Um, but put in two more modern um, livery. Right. Got it. That was pretty wild looking with the the T train. Oh I yes, think they used look to at that. that. Also not a very successful car, but mm. pretty wild looking. Then you get back into our yeah the silver. Our super successful. I think the McLaren cars have always looked the coolest. Oh, the, the, the McLarens had such yeah. a great design eye. Oh. Um, yeah, that the silver and the black and the orange and just like. Now this one. Yeah, this is, is not giving much away. Well, <laughs> so you'll know what this is after I tell you, but you might not know what it is no. now and why this car is so significant. Yeah. This is the Lamborghini car. And oh. uh, we were close to doing a deal with Lamborghini oh. and Peugeot came in. Senna tested this, said the engine was unbelievable, and I th we ended up doing a deal with uh, Peugeot. So this is the car that Senna tested, has a Lamborghini it's engine a Lamborghini in the back engine. of it. He said it was unbelievable, but we went on to do a deal with uh, uh, Peugeot. Yeah. And then Senna uh, left, because Senna never drove yeah. uh, in a uh, Peugeot. So this, I think, would have been it's a 93 a, chassis. Yeah, it's an MP48. Only one ever? Only one be. ever. Gosh, Pretty cool. With these cars sitting back here, would they get stuck? Do the engines get stuck? We, we get every, we turn everything, everything over. We, we've got a yeah. whole team to look after our collection to the make historics. sure. Yeah, because race cars don't like to sit, and no, if they sit, geez. they'll go. Yeah, they'll go bad. So we uh, we keep them all really well yeah. maintained, and what? maybe the ugliest race car of all time. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, and what that weird. was is the regulations. Um, and so all the cars from this era had some sort of weird nose. And that was the point of impact for the crash structure. Mm -hmm. But the designers figured out that you don't want the whole nose coming down. This would be aerodynamically better. Mm. But the front of it would uh, pass the crash test and, and the mm. safety mm -hmm. rules. So that's why right. you've got. Um, Okay. That. That thing. <laughs> and then uh, yes. you get to the, this is when I started, which yep. um, was not my most fam favorite time, because yeah. uh, we weren't any good. Um, and, and unfortunately, we just didn't have a successful We were kind of transitioning. Yeah, and, you know, I think um, we learned a lot uh, during this period. I think Honda learned a lot in this period, and I think that we both benefited from the divorce, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak, because I think we both looked at how we could improve. Mm -hmm. um, so everything happens for a reason. They're doing great engines now. I think they have a, a shot at uh, winning the world championship uh, this year. Amazing. And then I kind of felt like when we transitioned away, we needed a, a, re a reboot uh, on the brand, on the team, on the energy. And that's why, you know, you could see this is kind of a pickup of, mm -hmm. you know, the, the silver. But I, I felt the cars were very dark. Yeah, they are. Um, and that's why it was like, you know what, let's go back to our, our papaya. And we yeah. started with some orange and black and, and kind of thought, mm, that kind of felt, yeah. you know, one foot in, in the water because yeah. um, it yeah. wasn't. Quite, it's our, not. It wasn't our papaya. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a lot of uh, black on it. So that's when yeah, we shifted and went, you know what, let's 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 go for it. And that's where the blue then came from, was if you look at the- um, Like the Renault blue. The, yeah, and uh, if you look at the Can-Am car, it had yes. some blue on it. Yes. So this was really a pickup of that, that 1970 Can-Am car. Let's use that papaya and let's bring some blue Got it. into it. I think our cars look stunning now. Oh. Beautiful. I'm clearly heavily biased. But, yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, just. Uh, oh. Yeah, so this is. Uh, oh, wow. What I'd like to do is turn this in in time yeah. to a museum. It's yeah. kind of such a shame to have Hidden all this away. history here. Yes. Um, and, and we've got the Stott Leadership Center with a separate entrance. And what I'd love to do is be able to offer fans mm. a couple days a week, what have you. Come, come in, see, it. see, see a mm. movie on the history of McLaren and 
Bruce because he's got such an unbelievable story. Mm -hmm. And then be able to kind of walk through here. I'd like, you know, we've got race suits and helmets yes. and so much history. And we're so close to London. Um, I'd like to be able I think you'll be, to be able to have fans come visit us. You'll be inundated, I promise, to I know, see these. I know, I'd like these. to come visit. Yes, oh my goodness, I'm, I'll be I'm here McLaren's like every weekend. <laughs> Me too. So that, uh, yeah, so pretty. I think that's a great idea. Pretty awesome place to come to work to every day. Wow, it really is. I mean, it's just so inspiring yeah. as well. Pretty awesome. So in here mm -hmm. is our mission control, mm -hmm. uh, which is really where the race kind of starts and we'll have partners that uh, can come in and watch. Oh my goodness, look at this. Which is pretty It's like Jurassic awesome. Park. Never <gasps> mind the uh, no filming, no photography <laughs> sign. <laughs> oh and, my uh, goodness, look. So this is where it all, it all happens. So we'll have, I think there's about 40 spots in here and in here will be tire management, mm -hmm. uh, power unit, aero, reliability, competitive analysis, weather. Mm -hmm. um, all the so, telemetry so, up there. And then this team is all connected to the team. On track. With, on track, wherever we are around the world, real time. Would they? Would this amount of people normally be on track if it wasn't for COVID or is this how it's no, always No, this is how it's always, it's been. always been. So we've been doing connected cars for 25 years. Oh, wow. Um, you wouldn't think that it would get there quick it, enough. It's, it's quick. Well, that's where all your uh, yeah. your Dells and your Cisco's and exactly. you know, our, our technical yeah. partners are so important to... Bad, big bandwidth. Com yeah, competition. <laughs> we just put in a huge uh, Dell project for our CFD for our, our wind tunnels. So uh, it's nice to have our partners helping yeah. with our, our true performance. Uh, in the team. It's very quiet in here. Everyone will have their headsets on. Super concentrated. You won't hear anything. And then, you know, here they don't have the the sound, the weather, the drama at the racetrack. Mm -hmm. So they can, you know, make some very big, well, big decisions. Big decisions well. and communicate in a, in a more calm, relaxed yeah. way. Um, so we can go racing without this team. When you come and do your five races a year, are you in here or are you in there? Where I'm in do you there. Go? I'm in there. Are you pacing? Are no, you... no, no. I sit down and You're shut very up. Very calm. I sit down and shut up. Uh, I'll either be in that back corner row yeah. or that back row there, just kind of watching everything okay. play out. But uh, I know my place when the uh, red when lights the race is on. go out. I leave. I leave it to Andreas <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and his team. I'll just be uh, interested observer and uh, feed him any comments I may have but uh, and does every race team have this kind of setup or I, I think getting that well the the big teams will have similar setups for sure I think the smaller teams will, will have this type of setup but maybe on a smaller scale and with some yeah. lesser uh, technology but uh, everybody relies on home base to uh, kind of power up the uh, the racing team it's just amazing and so incredibly advanced yeah. you know we, we've been watching for I've been growing up watching kind of F1 racing and all sorts of different racing on the TV, but you just don't automatically think of yeah. everything that's going on in the back office. Yeah. Yeah. It's so incredibly it's high tech. That's where I think the sport, and I'm glad that you're showing it, and the Netflix yeah. of the world, I think there's such a fascinating part of Formula One that's really never been seen before. Exactly. Uh, and depending on you know, what excites you about Formula One? Some people it's all about the drivers, some people it's all yeah. about the team, some people it's all about the event, some people it's all about the technology, and I think it's such a cool sport that offers different yeah. aspects that it's great that we're finally yeah. uh, opening up. It wouldn't have been long ago that we wouldn't be sitting here because we would have not wanted to, to show anyone. Show anything. anyone. But yeah. I, I think coming back to we're sport and entertainment and everything for us centers around the fans. The fans need to know yeah, how exactly. Formula One works. Yeah, and I think everything is being, through social media, everything is being so much more transparent. Yeah, I think it's but, great. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's and great. kind of recruitment and, and finding kind of these new up and coming we, young we engineers. We have a long list of people that would love to join yeah. McLaren. So yeah. we're in a fortunate position that people like myself I give my right arm to uh, yeah. work at McLaren, so you're able to get some of the best talent yeah. uh, in, in the world. Um, very smart people, yeah. much smarter than me. Yeah, I know. And Hell what a than me. <laughs> and what a great experience for sponsors to be able to sit in here. Incredible. Listen, we, we give them access can to I more come? channels. You can definitely come join.
much a race. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll open up the different radio channels. So, you know, on the broadcast, you just hear the engineer to the driver and Do vice have, versa. Oh, um, yes, look, you've got the, all the but kit. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, we've got all the different channels so we can let our partners in really behind the scenes here. What's really going really on? Really special. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm just quite blown away by everything. Not only the cars downstairs, but just the whole, actually the whole environment. The whole environment. I'm awesome. a bit like a deer in headlights going, wowee, what a place. Thank you cool. my for pleasure. showing me around I love yet around again. Please come and do more. Will you come and do all, all my shows? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Your knowledge is just. Anything about talking about cars, count me in. Yeah. But it's your knowledge is extraordinary yeah, and to be, uh, you know, this it. is your mothership. It's just amazing. Yeah. Very talented. It's a lot man. of fun. Thank you.